Today we're going to be cleaning up this EB that we picked up, which you guys haven't seen yet. We might have seen in the background of some of our videos. Um, yes, we're starting projects, not really finishing them. I've been moving house, so it's my new house. The other house was a rental, but now we are working on this EB here, which we picked up. EB Fairmont 1993. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. And now we're gonna give it a wash. It's been sitting in my backyard for ages. It's actually still currently registered, but we're gonna get in the roadworthy done. I haven't been driving it at all, just kind of sat it in my backyard. The paint is pretty good, but dirty. Can have a look at the interior. As you can see, you know, the, the car's a little bit dirty. Interior, it's all there. Seats are kind of dirty. The dash is clean underneath, not cracked. Back seat needs a good clean out. So we're gonna strip out the interior. Same as the EA. As you can see, yeah, just dirty, dirty, dirty. Hasn't just been it's been used but not not really loved. Like we're gonna love it. As you can see here, the paint is has got a lot of marks and stuff on it. So yeah, let's uh Thomas is gonna give me a hand, we'll go washing. Let's do it. She's got a small dent here, which is annoying, but we might just end up putting a new bonnet. Show you guys the engine bait. Come on. Yeah, it's looking pretty filth in here. So yeah, we've got the multi-point injection, super dusty and dirty. We've got Chris coming from Nezzy Motors on Monday to give this thing a look over. And yeah, probably should get it cleaned up a bit. It's got the uh, factory option, I think ROH wheels which we can auto sole up and clean. We've got it bogged in the backyard. That's why it's so dirty on the rims. And yeah, the car really doesn't have that much shine to it at all. One awesome thing about this car is factory sunroof, which works flawlessly. And it's got the, all the standard family options, like, you know, your lights around the keyhole. You kind of, if you, if you do, if you go to open the car and you do that, the light, the footwell lights come on, really cool. It drives pretty good. Obviously it needs a few little things. That little section is coming out there. Might have to just somehow glue that back in. But yeah, let's get this thing looking fresh. The window tint was peeling off, so I just, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna have to get in there and clean all that crap out. Um, might even just take all the window tint off it, because it's like that old school, like purple tint. Thomas is just setting up the pressure washer. So unfortunately at this new house, we don't have a shed. I'll show you guys the back. So yeah, still kind of slowly cleaning things up here, but we got some cars at the back with the EA, XF, Monty One VL car trailer. And we've got a little garden shed around the corner there. All right, should we do this? All right, so we're gonna hit with this with some degreaser. This is definitely, yeah, you can grab your own can there. This actually just gets rid of stuff pretty instantly. Should have done a photo on here, but maybe we can just freeze frame the the rocker cover is pretty disgusting.
Okay, so we noticed that our, our door trim here is looking pretty disgusting and we're gonna try some Meguiar's cloth and trim cleaner. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I just used the rag here with a little bit of wet water on it. So what I might do is just try a little section here. I'm not even gonna read the description on the bottle. I'm just gonna cake it and then start. Oh, look at that, it's gonna shampoo it. So I reckon what we'll do is shampoo it with one of them and then we'll come through with the next one. Cause this Fairmont trim back in the day is quality, well, this is the high end. Look at the difference. It's really already making a huge difference. And then I'll use another side of the cloth just to dry it off. I mean, I mean, this is just a quick wipe down, really. Such a difference it makes having a clean car. So I don't know if you guys can see the difference between that and that, but that's huge, isn't it? So this is obviously where the driver puts their arm when they're driving, whether all this disgusting stuff's gonna come out. Really need to do the whole door trim like that. That's come up a million times better. Like I'd be happy to just leave it like that. So what do we got there? Upholstery cleaner. So this time I'm gonna try the Meguiar's upholstery carpet cleaner. We're gonna try it here. Give it a quick shake. Might as well just do this whole section. Way different. I know we're skew. We can't stick to one thing. We're going from outside to inside. And you can see that's pulling out. Look at that. You can see it's just pulling out the dirt straight away. This might even just work on the seats. Like just doing this, look at that, way different. This car's gonna turn out sick. I love cleaning old cars. That looks way better. Little did the old, no, old owner know that like you can just wipe it down and it comes like new again. But there is a lot of cleaning to do. Okay, so this is what our seats are looking like. Bit stained, tiny little hole there, nothing major. I like these seats, they hold you in, they got like the bolsters on the sides, this one's a bit busted, it still works. Haven't even done anything in here, no vacuum, nothing. Will be cool to clean the carpet really good. Let's try some of this um, interior cleaner on the seat. I think we might just take the seats out eventually and do it properly. But you definitely can see a difference there from a quick wipe down. Quick wipe down this half of the seat, which I've done pretty dodgily in this part here. So for those of you guys out there whose seats are kind of dirty, just you can do that and it'll bring them up a little bit. So Thomas here is going to buff the boot lid. At the moment we have, there's still little black spots and it's not perfect. There's not really much shine to it. A little bit, a little bit of shine, but I reckon this shine will come up way better after a buff. And he's going to put the white pad on, which he already has. And he's going to get the juice cut compound out of the garage. Okay, so it's the next day. It got too dark and too cold, so we packed it up. And we are now masking the car because we're gonna do a full buff and paint correction on this thing. Thomas is going along and he is masking up all the handles. This is a mistake we made on the EA. We wish that I did this because when you hit a little bit of the edge, you know, it just goes into the paint. So let's get buffing. So we just bought this thing here. The Bissell Turbo Clean vacuum it's like a vacuum wet vacuum that puts solution chemicals and it's supposed to be really good at cleaning and then just sucks up all the dirt through here i saw it on a detailing ad once we're going to try it on the interior so the front seat as i showed you before you know it, i don't know if that translates through camera like i wipe this half here as you can see here this is like a more it looks cleaner and then that half there's original so we're gonna give this whole interior of the seats a go over and hopefully make it look pretty much like brand new again. Thomas is just masking up the thing. Why don't you just use one long continuous piece to go along the whole thing? It'd be way faster. But see how it's coming like onto the paint? We need to make sure it's like 
No, if you get when you once you get it good, you go do it. But you're just learning, so you're getting better. I wanna hit the ball out. I'm random pedestrians. I want my questions to be answered to my brain board and questionless. I want more self assurance. I don't ever want a second guess. I want so to shut the Less he trying to tell me yes again I want so many best friends that I can't tell what friendship is I want the diamonds, gold, and glitter I want fast cars I'll never whip I want it all till I'm empty in my castle of everything Oh, I see what you want Baby, but I might be Yeah Just a little Aye. more than I Come on. can give you oh, I want a pussy job that yeah. pay big bills and cheap thrills Wanna mob about with my homies like Timmy, Tommy, and Dill I'm not trying to be famous, okay, maybe a little Since I'm a rapper, I should buy me some grills And gold frills that I can sleep on while I contemplate pills And peep on, hold still Might sedate you just a fire at will I got an appetite for hardship, big fish meets krill Don't sleep, don't spill, I ain't got my fill uh, I want the beauty queen to make me show my pearly whites the type of movie scene that make you count your blessings twice It's not the only thing that's on my list, I checked it twice And sent it off to Santa's elves like I've been playing nice